Ante Clinic presents Colors Mr. and Master Cook. This is a unique cooking show which highlights the bond between a father and a child that comes through cooking. This show is all about the love between a father and a child. The way they cook together in the kitchen, the way they love together in the kitchen, the way they fight together in the kitchen, but most importantly, the way they come together in the kitchen as a family. In this show, we will have 8 to 15 year old kids cooking alongside their fathers and these pairs will compete with each other against this coveted title. In this show, we will have four preliminary rounds. In each round, we will have a minimum of three contestants that will compete against each other. But only one will make it to the semi-finals. I will be one of the judges. And joining me on the panel of judges is Ms. Ujwala Bakshi and Chef Soni Haq. Hi, I am Ujwala Bakshi. I am a registered dietitian and diabetes educator. I am the founder of Potion. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Soni Haq. Uh, I have been a chef for the last 23 years and I've uh, been working in hotels, restaurants and training a lot of people. So what we are looking in for the participants is definitely the recipes need to be creative. At the same time, uh, there should be an element of nutrition and health. We are looking for tasty recipes but with a thought of health adding into it. We look for the cleanliness of the plate. When you say cleanliness of the plate, it has to look clean without a lot of clutter and mess on the plate. So let's begin the show by taking a look at our contestants for today. My name is Vinod. Uh, I'm an IT consultant. This is my daughter, Akshara. We together always combo in terms of playing uh, stuff at home and uh, we participate in a lot of stuff together. He is my best friend and I think he gives me a lot of freedom. Her presence made a lot of difference in my life. She's like my mother. <laughs> My name is Uday, um, she's Geet, my oldest daughter. As part of my work, I travel a lot. In fact, um, most of the week uh, I spend outside uh, in ASEAN markets. I miss him because he's not around to play games with me. Hi, my name is Sachin Dubey. I work with an American multinational in Singapore. My name is Krishna Nove. I'm going to Kenya Trinity School in grade 9. There's a gap between my first son and the second son, so for a long period of time, he was the main person in our home, and all attractions were towards him. So we used to play together, we used to sometimes cook together, we used to go together for movies as well. In the first round, our contestants are going to cook without fire. They will be judged based on their preparation technique, use of correct equipment, hygiene, but most importantly, the love and the bond that they show in the kitchen. to put together a salad. We are going to be around to guide you, to help you through the process. During that period, we are also going to observe how well you cook, how hygienically you prepare your dish, how beautifully you two bond together. So contestants, are you all ready? One, two, three, your time starts now. All right. <laughs> you peel it off. I would put it on the chopping board and do it. Okay. Careful now, then you peel it. Without sitting and just standing and cooking and chopping fast, I think we can win. Oh, I got it. No, peel this one, girl. Slide this leaf. Krishna, be careful. Hey, give it to me. He asked me for help, like, Cutting and chopping and those things, probably I think I'm better than him in, in those aspects, so I have helped him. This lady look, doesn't look fresh. Who was a better cook at your home? <laughs> we went into kitchen every three months, we prepare a new dish. Let's peel it off and keep separately. Contestants, how are you doing? Good. 
That's very nice. So uh, almost all your favorite stuff is here, right? I love cucumbers, so he cut some cucumbers with me just the way I like it. No, no, hold that. I know how to do it. Can you remove this? Yeah. No, no, no. Alaka, put like this. You do it this way, and from the both the side, and okay, lift, it, lift it up. No, but we are not presenting in the bowl, ma. This is to mix only. We make omelets together, which is so tasty. I think it's better than my mom. I got an idea. Have fun while we work. Yeah. We will use uh, maybe half. How is it coming? That is how you make a dressing. How do you make the dressing? What's the secret? When they bring the salad to the table, it should be crisp, fresh, well balanced, and well dressed. But don't spread too much, huh? Even though we do it at home at times, but it, today was something like a competition. So we had to do it uh, with all our efforts and uh, you know focus. Very great experience, amazing experience because we have cooked together at home, but not in a more competitive way. <laughs> Don't do that, Akshay. Too much soy, I think. We want to just ensure use a lot of uh, lettuce, mm -hmm. and then um, we have uh, tomatoes, okay. um, and then uh, we have the cucumbers. So okay. we just want to ensure we use max of the greens. Very unique to have the father and the child come together. Father likes to cut and chop things, so he can uh, cut and chop it, and I can assemble it and then mix it and all that. Uh, just trying to plate it for one person, not too much, not too little. Krishna was trying to give it a twist, like he's trying to make a smiley face kind of a thing. Just mix it like this. Uh, she was told uh, how to sort of cut the paneer and all that. So it was good. It was a good experience. Looks like it. The key is uh, distributing of tasks. Uh, instead of both doing the same thing, we, in fact, that came actually from uh, Geet. So she wants to do a few things while I do a few things, and then we sort of uh, combine those two. We have some strategies in terms of how we present the one we prepare, and uh, it's more about togetherness in terms of participating together. And we have a strategy on what she will do and what I'll do and how we bring up the final product. So we want to name each of the leaf towards one chef. Is this too big? And another thing that I really like about the plating is it is uh, defining that it is meant for three people. I don't, know, don't take it in your lift tank. We never felt as though we were competing with them. I think that's because uh, all the three players here, uh, they carried themselves quite well. We could see the bond between them, between us and between ourselves. So I don't think I ever got a feeling uh, we were competing. We don't have to use them. That we can eat later. I will call your team, Team Smile. Because you are smiling all the way when you are cooking. Yes, it's a blessing. I think everyone was uh, fantastic. Everyone was doing great. All I can say is that we tried our best. What an amazing round that was. It was an absolute delight watching these pairs cook together, divide the tasks among themselves, coordinate amongst themselves to get the job done to perfection. So contestants, that was a fabulous cook-off. And I think you all did a fantastic job putting that salad together. Vinod and Akshara, I love the bonding between the two of you. Krishna and Sachin, I think the two of you are such a great team. The way you say things to each other without actually saying anything, I think that is very good. And Uday and Geet, I think the two of you make such a cute team together. That's a beautiful salad. Hello. So, how was your experience cooking this salad together? It was fun. Did you have fun with your daddy? Let's just taste what you all have made.
Hmm, your salad tastes very good. It's very well dressed, I must say. So how did it go? Good, just good. Good? Okay, let me ask you a very simple question. Yes. If you're going to sell it, at what price will you sell this salad? Six dollars. Six dollars. Do you think will it go for six dollars? I prefer to sell it in a cheap price because then everybody will want it. Very good. That's a very good competitive spirit. You know what I would say? Your salad tasting really good. Your dressing is very balanced. Okay? That's something that I really like. And I've been observing you, the way you have been interacting is a good teamwork. You're having fun, right? You're juggling with your lime and then dropping it down and running around to get it back. Yes, you did that? That happens in our kitchen. Very good, that happens in the kitchen, but not in a professional kitchen. The team that had the most fun, they were always uh, smiling, communicating. When you are plating, the first rule of plating happens, don't go to the rim. Leave the rim for the waiter to carry it, okay? Now the waiter will have to carry it like this, okay? So that's one thing, otherwise it's all right. It's a bit, bit too much portion. This one, sometimes don't put this kind of things in a plate, okay? Try not to. One good thing that I see on your salad is the vegetables are not too chopped. So that also prevents nutrition uh, being getting rid of. So this is nice. Yeah, the flavors are very nice. They're very fresh and I can um, taste the mint. I think you have used the mint. So very nice taste. Thank, Thank you. you. Let me see how it tastes. Mm. Not something. The seasoning is what I like in this. If you season the salad for the dish properly, you have won half the battle. Thank you very much. Although there was not much of interaction between them, but there was a lot of uh, non-verbal communication and they were introvert personalities. Uh, we have to accept that. Actually, she wanted to be the main chef and I'm sort of an assistant. She is the main chef for today. Yes, she is. Let's see, Geet, what you've made. Let's have a taste. Mm. It's a good salad. It's well seasoned. Um, it's got the right amount of acidity and uh, the dressing is just nice. Mm. Nice, nice. It's a nice um, flavored, nicely flavored and well plated uh, dish. Okay, one thing that I noticed that when you tasted with the spoon, your father asked you to wash the spoon and you did that. Can you just wash the spoon and bring it quickly? That's a good way to keep hygiene. Okay, let me go for that. What do you think? Am I happy? I'm very happy. This is very good. This is very good. Now what makes it very unique is you got that taste of sesame oil. <laughs> she knows, she knows how the ingredient works. Very well done. And now it's time for you all to get down to the dessert. So, you have to prepare a banana toffee pie. And what we are looking for is crunchy biscuit base. We are looking for a sweet caramel base and a silky smooth cream topping. So, are you all ready? Yes. Okay, so get started now. So, I will start with the cream. Particularly made the desert for the first time and really glad to see Krishna actually directing the whole desert making thing, directing me when to make what and when to do what. So it was his effort this time, so I'm really glad to see that. Should it be completely uh, crushed or...? Uh... I found difficulties in the dessert where we had to crunch the biscuit. I had to like bam, bam, bam and 
so there won't be any tiny pieces when they're tasting it. So that part was difficult. Like Making the dessert was so easy. It was just like a few five ten steps. So I helped my father to do with the melting of butter. Let me put this first and then you mix it. Putting the banana slices on the biscuit and butter. And then I did the cream, the white cream. Daddy Uday, mm -hmm. Daddy Uday, this is something that you will have to do. Okay. Yes, you need to use a lot of strength. Come this way. You, you do that. When they bring the dessert to the table, it should be sweet and the cream should be whipped to perfection. Daddy Vinod and Akshara? Yes. How was it getting the pudding together? Let's uh, taste your pudding and see. Uh, how it is looking very nice because I can see all the layers. So that is a very good that you've done uh, Now let's taste and see mm, Your cream the sweetness is just just nice. It's perfect. Let's go into the caramel layer mm. You've got just the right amount of caramel to balance out the cream and Let's see how the biscuit layer is. Mmm, your biscuit is really nice and crunchy. Very good job done. Uh, just that I would like to have the cream a little bit more stiff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so how was it making this dessert, Mr. Sachin and Krishna? Yeah, really nice experience making for the first time actually. Oh, you're Fun. making this for the first time? Yeah. So looking from the nutritional perspective, actually this is altogether a dessert. <laughs> so I can't talk much about the nutrition bit here. Okay, it is nicely sweet. It doesn't sound taste very sweet. And I can taste the banana. The biscuit doesn't seem to be around here on this side though. Overall, the presentation looks good. Hello, Smile Team. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. You know something? You guys are really the masters in presentation. Thank you. You always get it right. The last one you got it right, you had that thought of Three judges, three portions. Now this second three judges, three portions, is it? But you know what I like in yours? You went for the sticks upside down. Yeah. Which added a lot of color contrast. Yes? Yeah. Was it your idea again? No, it was daddy's idea. It was daddy's idea. Okay, whoever's idea it is. That has worked out really good. And look at this. Look at this. You see the layers? Yeah. This is how we wanted it. This is how exactly we wanted it. I'm going to... Now there is nothing to... Uh, now, we say, chefs say like this. When you make this kind of dessert, you have a crunch, a crunchy base. Then you got a mash, a mash kind of texture. And then you got a creamy smooth top. That's a whole concept. Yeah. So the crunch should hold it well. Okay. I'm trying to... Oh, through the crunch, yes, 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 it is. I'm trying to avoid the cream a bit, but yeah. Now it's really good. It's really good. Uh, the one thing that you could do better is this cream. You know, look at this cream. You can beat, beat it a bit more. Okay. Yeah, a bit more. Don't beat to break it because the moment you beat to break it, it will have that grainy texture. Like I told before, this layer is about smoothness, creaminess. Yeah, just get a bit more peak. It's called a peak. You know, the best way to check that is once you beat it, now with a finger, you just do like this. Yeah, and then you know, you know what happens? 
it will stay like that right it stay like a crown it was a real real close fight between the three teams so there is only one winner who will go to the next round if we win we will strategize more and try to think beforehand better coordination probably at the end of the day winning and losing is fine but it's more it creates uh, the bond between the child and the dad so we will continue to work at home it was fantastic uh, after a long time we had a bonding uh, in the outdoors just being with them and watching them cook like this took me back to my childhood days when i used to cook with my father in the kitchen so if you would like to know which team made it to the semi finals follow our show event clinic presents colors mr and master cooks <laughs>